what what do you what do you say what do you say after that how do you sum that up what is your what is your um your feeling on that as we're seeing Bruno about to speak there as well God knows I don't what even want to look at I don't even want to look at the TV right now I don't yeah. want to even look at Bruno let alone Graham Sunis I just my phone is on silent I just I'm hiding I'm I'm hiding I'm like I'm gonna hibernate until Thursday because that's how I'm feeling I, I I can't remember feeling this bad. And I really mean that from, from, from the point of even when we were playing bad under the Oli era and like what we went through last season, it's almost as if we grew used to that kind of bad attitude, bad behavior. So you bad, became numb to it last year. became numb to it. Yeah. And then we've gone through this whole, obviously we're not at the peak of our redevelopment, but we were on and up. And I just, I, I just, I don't even know what I just saw. And of all days today, I was like the most positive, right? Normally I'm the one who's like, mm, a bit like tentative, a bit kind of think with my head instead of my heart. And today I was like, no, 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 we're going to win this. Like at the beginning of the stream, I was like, we're going to smash them seven, eight, nine, nil. And I just got the, got it the wrong way around. When you're looking towards the players, you know, some people are saying Eric Ten Hag got this wrong, he got that wrong, tactically this, tactically that. When you look at the players though, what, how do you assess that? Oh, uh, I... Sorry, I was about to cut in there, but I was going to no. say there's no tactics involved in that. I didn't even see tactics. There was nothing. I, I, there's nothing for me to grasp at to make any kind of like like comment on. I don't know. I don't know what I saw, Flex. Like I just don't. I don't recognise that team. And I know like we're all doing our match view, uh, our fan views, and and DJ mentioned um, that some of the like our core team is the same and they have that same mentality but we had Casemiro like we have new players we have Martinez all right Varane was there last season but we have players with a winning mentality who have won big 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 things and to see them all capitulate just all just flop it was a together. complete capitulation yeah but the thing is it's not even just one player it was all of them like it was like a virus it was just infectious do you, do, you, do, you, do you not, yeah. like, yeah. I, yeah. And and about the midfield, I mean, like, I just, I, I had so much belief before kickoff because I was like, you know what, Casemiro is just going to boss it. I, 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 I was wrong. Well, that's that's what makes this really hard to, to dissect, isn't it, in any way, shape or form, because it's such a bad one that it's like, how do you have an inquest to that apart from actually the more this is going on, it's almost like, we have to we have to forget about this and move on very very quickly but but this is that this can this is damaging now but will you do you think that this will have lasting effects or do you think they can bounce back i think they'll bounce back and that's the one thing that i will say that is different under ten hag i think he will literally rip them a new asshole like he will mm -hmm. whether that be a 26k run or whatever the 30 mile run I, like he's he has to do something and we kind of i think we've grown to understand or know the kind of manager that, that Eric Ten Hag is. So I have faith that come next week, um, we will bounce back, but it's just a really hard defeat to take. And also all I keep thinking about is like, you know, when you're on the sofa on a Sunday morning, if you've got a hangover or whatever, and you're just tuning through and you see all of these old football, like you see all the football matches from 1992, 1994, this is going to be in history. Yeah. This is written in yeah. history. Like yeah. literally, that's going to be one of those games. This is, the, this is the sort of, of result that, you know, Liverpool fans will get printed on a t-shirt and it, it, you wear it, you just wear it about uh, in years to come. That's, that's how bad it was. I mean, seeing some of the goals there, literally so calamitous. Like that's, that's what was, that's what was the most frustrating thing. Like they just literally gave in and I thought that we were beyond that. But, but going back to what I was saying before about how it was infectious, right? How they all capitulated. This is, that's the one thing that does concern me is the fact that, and I'm not putting all on Bruno as captain, but I'm just saying like, how can we have certain players in that team with a winning mentality, they've won trophies. Like surely someone needs to speak up. Surely someone needs to communicate. There was no fist pumping. There was no chest pumping. There was no nothing. There was no communication. There was none. There was none of it. It's almost as if they've all had a lobotomy, like, and they forgot their roles and they forgot their job. Hmm. And that's what I meant by like infectious. It was a domino effect. One goes down, we all went down. I just, I, I never want to see that again in my life. I just, I never want to see it. Sorry, I'm, yeah, I'm done.